if the world were ending in 24 hours, I think I'd probably call my family and like organize some kind of journey out into like the countryside somewhere, just somewhere pretty, somewhere gorgeous, get loads of food, loads of drink, and just like party it out with the ones that we love until the end. There's like this specific curry powder that my mom has always used to cook with and just like the scent of that brings back memories. I know it sounds, it's like, it's hard to understand but there's like, there's different types of curry and like different, different islands in the, in the West Indies have like different types of curry that they use in their curries as well and it's like that specific Trinidadian curry powder is what takes me back because it's also not easy to find. So unless you're like on the island, it's quite hard to find. So it's nice whenever we find it and like that smell is like very particular and very much like, ah, I'm at home. To keep growing, always find opportunity for growth and to move forward and to ask questions, which is part of growth, I think. Um, to always move through life with the understanding that you don't, and you never will, know everything. One item I couldn't live without would be my tarot deck. It's just a, a tool for, for self-analysis, I guess. It's very useful for that. Kind of like a, what's that? test that psychiatrists use, the Rorschach or something, I think, test where you look at the ink blots. It's like that, but with more colors <laughs> and ancient. Yeah. Divisiveness. Anything that, just like the concept of separation, the concept that we're not all just like here together the concept that we're not a community, that we're not one community. Um, I would get rid of divisiveness. How? How does one do that? <laughs> I don't know, but a girl can dream. A girl can dream.